Hello! Well, it's October, so that means Halloween time. And, as I've said previously, I want to talk about horror films. And, um, this one I want to talk about, because it's one of my favorites. Um, it's from the Universal Monsters, uh, films for that era of horror that now isn't really scary. But it's, but they're really fun to watch and they're really cool. Um, I don't know how many of you all enjoy the Universal Monsters, or have ever seen them, but they're very good. Um, and this is my favorite film from uh, said era, uh, and that is obviously The Wolfman, starring Lon Chaney Jr. as the title character, who is uh, Orange Talbot, um, but he turns into the to a wolf uh, at night after he got bit by a wolf. Whom and the person who played the guy who turned into that wolf is played by Bela, Bela Lugosi. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I just love this out of all of them. There's various reasons. Um, I just like the story. It's really just sad and tragic. Though I guess if you look at some of the, the uh, Universal monster films. Uh, there are some that are very sad and tragic. Uh, the Mummy, you know, the, the original wanted to, or maybe the Karis Mummy is a better interpretation, where the Imhotep Mummy wanted to be with his beloved uh, and all. But, yeah. The Karis the Mummy, I think, uh, is a bit more sympathetic. He, you know, he just... He's just being used as a pawn for others, and you know, while he does try to initially to be with his beloved or resurrect them in some way or whatever, but now they've been tried that, but he's dead forever. Now it's like the whole point of him doing that was, you know, pointless because now she's dead and he keeps being brought back to life. I only say this because uh, the, the Wolfman, uh, Lawrence Talbot, really, he, really he just become he becomes the Wolfman after being bit. But he's trying to save uh, somebody he met. Uh, there's a woman he likes, and she, him, and a friend of theirs all go out, and they get their palms read, and by a fortune teller, it's played by Bela Lugosi, so you know, and he kills this woman who has, like, a star on it, who, when uh, the person sees that, who's the werewolf, that means that they're marked to be next, who's their next victim. And so he goes and he kills her. Well, uh, Lawrence, he has a cane that he bought earlier in the day from the woman he likes. Uh, and he bought a cane with a wolf head on it, Set that right there, and it has like a star on it also. And he beats the the wolf to death, but not before being bitten. And then he himself turns into a wolf. And um, Claude Rains plays his father. Um, and, he, and the film takes place in you know England, but he was in a uh, but Lawrence was in America, and he comes back because. His brother dies, I believe so, if I'm not mistaken. That's not some other film I'm thinking of. Please bear me with me. I want to make sure I know this for... I am complete. I am right on this. I'm not just saying stuff from a different film. Do, 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 do. Yep, his brother died, so he comes back home. All right, uh, so enough of that. Yeah, basically... Uh, that's how he comes back, because he was not in England. He was in America. And, well, he has to come back because his brother passed away. And, yeah, if you haven't seen the movie, I recommend seeing it. But I, it's been around for so long. I think everybody who likes horror has seen these films. But if you're one of those who hasn't, I'm not going to spoil it, because... Uh, 
Why? Uh, I mean, there's sequels. Well, uh, I guess there's sequels, but unfortunately, The Wolfman got screwed out of sequels. I have a big box set that you used to be able to see here in the early days when I had my when I didn't have my uh, set up here in this little corner calendar and the movies. But there's three busts of where it has the Frankenstein's monster played by Boris Karloff, you know, Bela Lugosi's Dracula, and Cheney's The Wolfman, and it had like a, they each had a, like a big set in this big box, and it had all different films with those characters. And unfortunately, uh, the only additional film with The Wolfman, in terms of a sequel, was Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman. But that set also had a uh, Werewolf of London and She-Wolf. Um, now, unfortunately, again, as I said, uh, he, the Wolfman kind of got screwed in terms of sequels because all future iterations with the Wolfman, he was always with Frankenstein's monster and or Dracula and other monsters. He was never able to be... He never got a solo sequel, if that makes sense. You know, Lon Chaney Jr. Uh, never got to have a sequel with just himself as the lead. Um, now, those films aren't bad. You know, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, uh, House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, those films. They're all very good. Um, and there's also Abbott Costello meets Frankenstein, which has the Wolfman and Dracula as well. But I've never seen that film as, a, as a, an official universal horror film. Like many say, uh, think. Um, it's just now, recently with all the Blu-rays, been uh, put in that those sets. I don't think it should, because Abbott and Costello were more, you know, humorous and funny, obviously. To those who know of the Wolfman or of Abbott Costello in general, so it was more of like sort of a parody and homage to those films in a way. But I don't know; it was more of a comedic tone. Whereas films like The Wolfman and Frankenstein, Dracula, and while they might not be scary today, back then they were in quite frightening. And they were intended to be scary. Abbott and Costello, you're not going to be scared by the monsters. Because that's not the intent of uh, a film with those two. So I can't ever see that as an official Universal monster film, even though it is now with the Blu-ray set, like individually. Like they released like a Wolfman set and had all the films that the Wolfman was a part of. Like Wolfman, you know, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, and Abbott Costello meets Frankenstein, in addition to She, uh, uh, she Wolf and uh, Werewolf of London. Uh, yeah. Or She Wolf of London, uh, apologies. Yeah, it was She Wolf of London, but yeah, I just. I've never seen the Abbott and Costello films as true universal horror monsters films. They were more fun and parody than anything. It wasn't ever supposed to be truly taken serious, where these films were. Um, and they're not bad films by any means. You know, I enjoy Abbott and Costello. I think they uh, have good films. I enjoy their films. I think they're funny. But I just don't see the films where they're meeting these monsters. I don't see that as an official, you know, Universal Monster uh, films. That's just me. Uh, you can disagree with that if you like. But I've just never seen it because the tone is different. Um, and you could say as the series 
as those films went on and they start collaborating more with all the monsters like clashing together, it got more goofy and silly. But the intent of of scares were was always there. It was it never really went away. Maybe audiences never didn't think they were frightening anymore, but they were just fun to watch. That could be, but they were still intended to scare people. Of course, nowadays we uh, have a lot more horrifying films, <laughs> which have a lot of blood, a lot of gore, some jump scares, and yeah. This version of the film I got, obviously, is just The Wolfman, because they released like the... Uh, like the 75th anniversary of uh, Dracula and Frankenstein, which I would actually like to have those individually, like this, but at the time I was only able to get one, and also I'm like, I got, I got my favorite. Um, yeah. I also just love Lon Chaney Jr. He's an incredible actor. His father was also great. I feel, though, between the two, I kind of like Lon Chaney Jr. a bit better, but that's because he had a huge shadow cast over him from his father. And also he had to even change his name to Lon Chaney Jr. He never wanted that to be uh, his his stage name. He always wanted to be Creighton Chaney. That was his name. But the studios said, if you want to ever get work, call yourself Lon Chaney Jr. Otherwise, you can't get work. You'll just keep getting the same old stunt jobs you've been getting get the same old uh, you know, being in one scene only and never get credit and you'll just be there for at most a minute but never really an, a huge important character or you'll, if you do have an important character you'll be you'll be in B movies you know nothing like you want um, so he did that and well we all know who he is now and not just like Lon Chaney had a son. So. It's like, oh, who was he? Oh, well. Yeah. But, yeah, I... I enjoy this this film. Uh, again, if you haven't seen it, watch the film. It's very good. Um, even if it probably won't scare you today, it's still good to watch. It's, a, it's, it's really good. It's even fun. Um... Performances are very good. Lon Chaney Jr. was always an incredible actor. Claude Rains is great. Bela Lugosi, he's not in there very long, but he's great too. Uh, Warren William is good. Uh, Patrick Knowles. Maria Austin. Yeah, uh, I just butchered that name terribly. Evelyn Anchors. Faye Helm. Forrester Harvey. And J.M. Carrigan. These are all they all, everybody is great in this film. Their acting is great. Um, yeah, I just... I love this film. I, I can just... I, I really love just to praise the film. Uh, it's fun. Uh, and with that said, you know, I will continue next week and the rest of this fil month. Probably even talk about the Joker film. <laughs> next week also. I, I plan to see it this weekend. Um, if I, uh, you know, so keep a lookout for that. Um, so you might get multiple film. <laughs> Me talking about multiple movies this month, not just horror. So, there you go. Um, and that's really all I gotta say. I hope you all, you all are having a great day. I hope you all will have a great weekend and a great week. And I'll see you all next time.